In this video, we're going to go over the quiz four blueprint. Uh, hopefully that'll help you study a little bit for the quiz. Um, so you'll see that the topics here, these are the topics that are gonna be on the quiz. We've got polymorphism, interfaces, aggregation, and composition, and files. So for some reason, this blueprint only has three example questions. So I'll just go through those, but uh, you're gonna need to know all of the stuff from these lectures. All right, so here are the sample questions. Number one, consider the following Java interface. Based on this interface, identify one problem with the interface and then identify how it should be fixed. Okay, so we see we have this public interface sizable and then we have, it looks like an attribute called size and then a method called get size. All right, well, so the first thing that we can see is we haven't declared any um, access modifier, so public or private or anything like that, all right? Now with interfaces, when you use attributes, okay, attributes have to be declared public static final, okay? So this size right here should be declared public static final, okay? And we didn't even really go over using attributes in interfaces. Um, that's something that was added to Java not too long ago, so, um, for a while you couldn't even add attributes to interfaces but now you can um, you just have to make them public static and final so um, and then for this method again you should probably also have an access modifier so this should probably be public double get size all right so those are the two kind of problems with uh with this one Okay, and then for number two, using course terminology, explain the difference between inheritance and composition. When would a programmer use inheritance versus composition? In your answer, provide an example of each. Okay, so with inheritance, remember that's the is a relationship. So um, if we had an object called a shape, then we would have a triangle which is a shape a circle which is a shape and then we would get more and more specific right so we could have food could be one object and then we would have a fruit which would be uh sort of a more specific type of food and then we could have a banana which is a type of fruit so um so inheritance is that that hierarchy of is a where you're getting more and more specific so food fruit, banana, okay, or, you know, shape, square, something like that. Um, or you could even have shape, and then the next level down would be polygon, and then the next level down there might be square, or something like that. So that's an is a kind of a relationship. And then for composition, that's basically when you have an object that contains another object, right so maybe if you had a shape object and you had a color object where the color object was the red green and blue value or something like that then um the shape would have a color so in the shape objects definition there would be a color object in there so inheritance is an is a relationship and a composition is the has a relationship so a square has a color or a shape has a color you know uh, the examples that they used in the lectures were like uh, a uh, a human has a heart or a car has an engine okay so stuff like that and uh all right so i think that's pretty good for number two and then for number three, consider the block of Java code identified below meant to read an input file. What code should be inserted between this? Okay, explain why this code should be inserted. Okay, well, so we have a scanner and then we have this file input stream and then a file. Okay, so anytime we're dealing with files, we have to handle the exceptions that are thrown, right? So here, let's go ahead and... Let me take this code and let's just go ahead and all right so uh we'll go uh blah.java public class blah paste in all that stuff right there 
Okay, and... Okay, and it looks like... Alright, in order to get this to compile, I'm going to need to import some stuff. So we'll import java dot util dot star and java dot io dot star and for now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just remove this line right here okay so we got scanner all right so this isn't gonna work right here this is looking for us like a swing component well okay here's a little um, I think what I'm going to do in order to simplify this is I'm going to just remove all of this. And instead put in foo.test. Okay, let's make sure my parentheses... Alright, my parentheses are good. Okay, so now if I were to try and compile this... Let me bring up another window here. Java C blah.java. Okay, you see how it's giving me this exception, unreported exception, file not found exception, must be caught or declared to be thrown. Okay, so, um, and it's the file, the use of the file input stream that's causing that to happen. So, what I would have to do is, if I were to handle it up here in the method header, I would have to put in throws file not found exception. Okay, alternatively, I could wrap all of this code inside a try catch block and then catch the file not found exception there but this right here doing the throws file not found exception which is what the question was asking you know what would you replace right here in the method signature okay this should do the trick so if I save that and compile it you'll see that it compiles with no errors so so that's basically the quiz um our quiz is actually going to be multiple choice and true false, so I'm not quite sure how useful knowing the answers to these will be. But uh, be that as it may, that's uh, the answer to the sample questions. And, alright, I guess that's it.